mass scaling is almost like increasing the density because when you increase density the mass of uh, the material that you are using also increases but using mass scaling in abacus you can be a bit more clever than uh, increasing the density in the whole specimen so let's see how you can define mass scaling and how you can uh, control different parameters in mass scaling so for mass scaling in abacus explicit so go to step there's an explicit step and then go to mass scaling in here you can use scaling definition as below and then create a mass scaling definition so you can choose to scale the whole model or you can choose to scale only a set of elements for mass let's say we start with selecting the whole model then uh, we can define the mass scaling factor here if i put that mass scaling factor is 100 so that is almost the same thing that we did by increasing the density by 100 you can also choose your target time increment if you do that then uh, for example in our case we had 7 e to the power minus 7 to be our uh, time increment that was used by abacus but in here if we put 7 e to the power minus 6 and uh, don't do any uh, mass scale factor just by doing that that means that uh, we are asking abacus to increase the time step by 10 times so then to increase the minimum time increment 10 times it will automatically go ahead and increase the density by 100 times so that's how this mass scaling is done so you can either define uh, the scale in your mass or you can directly say that what is the minimum time increment that you want and uh, to correspond to that increment the mass would be automatically scaled so that is done here so you can either do that or you can choose this particular thing both will have almost similar effect in your simulation time but then you can choose accordingly but the best way of mass scaling is uh, scaling in the set instead of whole model but then uh, which set so let's see how we can find a useful set where we want to define the mass scaling to find that when you are in mesh module you can click this verify mesh from here or from here and then it says select the region you want to verify you select the whole region here i can put that uh, to identify the elements that will require stable time increment less than 1 e to the power minus 6 so let's highlight so that actually means that uh, only at these elements i will need a stable time increment less than this everywhere else it's larger than this particular value this actually is an indication of the characteristic length of the other elements are larger than the characteristic length of the highlighted element which means these elements are smaller as a result they needs a smaller time increment but uh, as uh, they need smaller in time increment the whole model will need a smaller stable time increment and as a result your whole model would be punished due to these few elements which are relatively small by defining this time increment you can identify your small elements and once you have done that so uh, once you have this uh, quantity written here your targets uh, time increment and once you click highlight it will have these elements then you can click and say create set so i say poor element uh, set i named this one and uh, there would be set created named poor element set for example this one poor element set now i can go again to the mass scaling and instead of the whole model we can say that particular poor element set in that place i want to mass scale such that the minimum time increment is 1 e to the power minus 6 because that what we wanted that what was right for all elements other than the highlighted element or we can even pick to have larger increment but that means that will artificially increase the weight of that elements too much so try to have a balance such that uh, in these poor elements you don't do mass scaling too much such that uh, those elements then have larger time increment 
compared to rest of the elements so that it doesn't uh, serve any purpose i can also choose to have a, a mass scaling factor directly about two in my particular case as the elements were not uh, too different so setting a factor of two for mass probably is good enough for me